Hello and welcome to this crash course in using the new stem splitter feature in Banana Box 2025 for Mac. The BB Stem Splitter is an amazing tool which separates an audio file containing multiple instruments into individual tracks, bass, drums, guitars and piano, vocals, and residual sounds. In this video, I'm going to use the stem splitter on a song to extract those various elements. Then I'm going to use the audio chord wizard to sync up Band in a Box to those tracks and get the chords. And then I'll try out some different Band in a Box styles, mixing and matching the Band in a Box tracks along with the extracted stems for some cool, fun remixing. Also, the song I'm going to use was not recorded to a click track, and it speeds up a bit, as lots of recordings do. And I'm going to use another great new feature, the Equalize Tempo feature on the stems, to have them lock in to a set tempo. So first of all, you might be asking, why would I use the Stem Splitter feature? There are lots of reasons you might want to use this. You could take your favorite song, split it into the various parts, try it out with new Band in a Box tracks, or try singing yourself with the original track. You might have heard some classic old recordings that got a modern remix treatment. Well, now you yourself can do that with this feature. Or maybe you want to revisit old songs you recorded or old family recordings, and then swap out different instruments or keep the instruments and redo the vocals. And the Equalize Tempo feature has lots of applications as well. For example, maybe one of the old recordings you're working on has tempo issues and you want to fix that. Or maybe you have a cover of a song and you want to try taking the stem of the cover singer and put that over the tracks of the original. Well, with the Equalize Tempo feature, you could make them both sync up exactly. So first of all, I'm going to go to File, Open Special, Open Audio File to Separate Tracks using Stem Splitter. You could also do this just by typing, as if you were entering a chord, Stems Enter but I'll do it just by selecting this menu item. And I'm going to open a file from our tutorial BB2025 folder. When you upgrade to Band in a Box 2025, you'll have a bunch of audio files in this folder that you can use to test out this and other features. This song, The Breeze, has the full version, and it also has a one minute version of it. I'm going to use that shorter version of the song for this video, just so I can quickly show you how this all works. But if you're trying it out yourself, you might want to use the full version of the song. So I'm going to open that one. Now before it actually imports the file itself, there are some options here. You can import the whole song or a portion of it. This file is already shortened to 30 seconds, so I'll use that as is. You can choose which stems you want to import. I'll keep all of those including the master. The master will be the original stereo audio file on its own track. You can create a new song or use the existing song. That doesn't matter for me right now because this is already just a blank song. You can disable style, which I definitely want to do right now. Later in the video, we'll try some Band in a Box styles along with some of the stems, but I can re-enable the styles at that point. You can designate the starting track, so right now the master will go on the audio track and then the stems will go on the tracks after that one, utility one, two, three, etc. The track labels will all start with this text and then have bass, drums, guitar, piano come after it. And preserve wave files means that the audio that is generated by the stem splitter will be preserved as a backup in addition to the audio that will be imported onto the tracks. All those settings are good for me, so I'll just press OK, generate stems. So we can see now the original master has opened up on the audio track, but it's muted because I want to be checking out the stems. The stems themselves are under the master, and the style was disabled by the stem splitter. So now I'll play a little bit of the track. And I'll go into the tracks window so we can see the waveforms of the individual stems. And you can also see another new feature with Band in a Box 2025, and that's the green scrolling line that goes across the entire tracks window. So let's start checking some of these out. Bass. Drums. Guitars and piano will go on this track along with other chording, comping type instruments like organ. Vocals are completely isolated now and sound great. And residual is just all the other sounds not included in the other stems. 
This is not a particularly useful track on its own, but if you play all the stems together, if this is included, then you're basically getting the same audio as the original source. And as I pointed out, one use of the stems is to have everything except the vocals. Great for a karaoke party. Now, of course, you'll have noticed during playback that the bar lines above are not at all in sync with the song, which is, of course, to be expected. So I'm going to use an older feature called the Audio Chord Wizard, which you can access with this ACW button to make the bars in Banana Box sync up to the song. At this stage, the timing of the song itself will not be affected at all. The music we hear will be exactly the same. We're just going to make it so that the bar lines in Band in a Box actually match what the music is doing. So in this window, I can add bar lines to the waveform, and then tempo changes will automatically be set in the Band in a Box file to conform to those bar lines. You can enter them by pressing this Add Bar Line button, or by typing L on the computer keyboard. And I'll do that now to enter the first bar line. And you can also do this by having the song play and then tapping L on the computer keyboard at the bar lines during playback to set these lines. So I'll do that now, and it's just a 60 second excerpt from the song, so the whole thing will take just one minute. So I realized that I still had the vocals muted from when I was demonstrating that before, but that doesn't matter, of course. So that's done, and I now have all the bar lines entered. You can also move around these bar lines manually just by clicking and dragging them if they're a little off. But yeah, on the whole, they now match up exactly. And now you can see that the chord chart is now changing bars in time with the song. But it's not actually showing the chords themselves. So I'm going to use the audio chord wizard to figure out the chords of the song by pressing this analyze button. And it's done a great job of figuring out the chords. You can of course still make changes to this change some chords if they're not exactly right, or add part markers to indicate sections. I could also specify the ending and just tidy up the rest a little bit. And now we have the stems in sync with Band in a Box and displaying the correct chords. And now for the fun part. Now I'm gonna try out some of these stems with different Band in a Box styles. I'll go into the style picker, and filter by 4-4, four, four, even eighths or sixteenths. I'll add a tempo filter so it only shows styles near 85 beats per minute. I'll sort by date so it'll have the newer styles at the top. I'll also make sure I have the style picker set to double click on style plays chord sheet chords instead of pre-made demo, which it does. And I'll mute all of the stems except the vocals And I'll just start double clicking on these styles to try them out with the extracted vocal stem. Just a young man running, feeling free and fine. Ain't afraid of nothing, has a wealth of time. Family sins and photographs. Is blowing 
him along. Ah, he's he's searching for his fortune and a song. Just a young man running, feeling free and fine. Ain't afraid of nothing. Has a wealth of time. And I'll try mixing and matching some of these stems. Maybe I'll mute the band in a box bass and bring back the bass stem from the song. Maybe I'll bring back in some of the guitar and organ from the original song too. Just a young man running, feeling free and fine. Ain't afraid of nothing, has a wealth of time. Family sins and photographs. So there's one more thing I want to do, and that's to use another feature that's been enhanced with Band in a Box 2025, Equalize Tempos. I'll go back to the audio chord wizard. And you can see that the song starts off around 84 beats per minute, but ends up being closer to 87 or 88 beats per minute. The Equalize Tempos feature can smooth that out, so it's a single, consistent tempo throughout, and it can now also work on other audio tracks in tandem with the main audio track. So I'll press that. It's suggesting 84 beats per minute, because that's what the song was at the start but maybe I'll split the difference somewhat and put in 85. It's now equalizing all of the tracks. Just a young man running. And now the entire thing is exactly 85 beats per minute. You'll also notice that the red lines on the bars have all disappeared as well because those indicated tempo changes but now the entire thing is 85 beats per minute. And now I'm gonna try out a few more styles with this now that everything is exactly at 85 beats per minute. Has a lot of time, family sins and photographs. And everything still syncs up perfectly in Band in the Box. And letters wishing he would hurry back. And because we've used the Equalize Tempo feature, these tracks will now automatically be set in the track settings to match the tempo if we change it. For example, I'll increase this to 90 beats per minute. He's searching for his fortune and a song. Just a young man running, feeling free and fine. Ain't afraid of nothing. We hope you enjoy the new stem splitter in Banana Box 2025 for Mac. Thanks for watching and have fun.